Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. And the spiritual influencer, how do you influence someone with those words? Well, it would be someone who has opened themselves up to coaching, someone that needs motivation um, to look at things maybe different from the way that they have looked at things, someone that um, is in need of changing their lives. And usually a change of life comes through our perception. The, ch the change can bring on negative um, situations and uh, the change can also bring positive situations. However, this person that looked at spiritual coaching or being influenced spiritually is taking on an area of life that maybe they hadn't taken as seriously or they wanna go deeper. And so when you look at thy kingdom come, thy will be done, our relationship with the king or the queen within us <clears throat> has to do with that king within us and that queen, as Jesus said, it is not I, but it is the father within me. Um, we all have sought out external desires and pleasures, but there is a time when external does not work anymore and we have to turn in. And this is where um, you are able to um, put things into perspective concerning disappointments in life. Someone that is um, depressed, they're able to overcome levels of the depression that they um, experience. And I'm not saying this from a diagnosis of um, depression disorder. I'm saying someone that has lived in dysfunction and has come into a place where they want motivational coaching um, from a spiritual standpoint where they can see how to go within or learn to go within from say like the scriptures because thy kingdom come. Well, which kingdom do you represent is what I would tell someone that I'm working with. And um, that is something that you'll have to think about. So if you represent the kingdom of goodness, love and happiness, then you're gonna start learning how to be that. Um, you're going to affirm that you are that so that you can start walking and talking in it. If you represent darkness, which is something that many people, the kingdom of darkness, many people, they won't actually admit until they're in a change of life that is um, like the dark night of the soul where you're going through destruction. You know, everything that you created is being taken apart. And, you know, even in the dark night of the soul, the taking apart of your life is necessary for you to step over into the next level of life. Say like in the Exodus, you can't exit from anything until you've learned something to go into a promise or of the Jordan, right? So thy kingdom come, thy will be done. It is the father within you and the mother within you will that you and the will would line up the will of the superior God within you, that God that Jesus taught about or whatever religion that you're in, because I don't get into debates. I believe that everyone lived in um, certain parts of the world and they experienced um, God and the grace of God in different ways. So I, I'm not gonna get into all of the um, discrimination that religion holds to keep us separate. You know, we're, we're working as spiritual influencers to bring people together. So when you look at the kingdom, so the kingdom of good, love and peace that I um, create within myself, it connects with my sister and brother. And um, as they're uh, committed to creating the same uh, type of kingdom, which is about love and knowing that um, all of us need each other you know we need each other you need me and I need you that kind of kingdom building it begins to expand and it creates the autonomy of 
what the universe um, is calling for because the universe is united. You know what I'm saying? You can see that it's dark out there, but there's planets, you know, sitting in there. And so when we come on back from that concept and we look here, um, the universe and God, the same God that Jesus was talking about, um, is coming from that point of view. There are um, the 12 tribes, you know, the 12 sons, the 12 disciples. And um, when you look at the planetary aspects, you know, you, you have a um, concept of mother and father, the sun and the moon, and uh, the children, which are the tribes. And so I'll leave you right there with that to think about. But the idea is not religious, it's spiritual so that man would learn how to go within himself after he seen that the external things didn't satisfy his soul. All around the world he saw it. They talk about the prodigal son and he couldn't find what he actually needed. And after a tiresome travel, not just the prodigal son, but many, many people that are leaders and um, political leaders, um, even back in the time of antiquity, they got weary and tired because what they thought was good in life turned out to be not so good. And so what is good for your soul is your truth. And what is good for mine and someone else's is their truth. But in order for a change to come, it was a kingdom that Jesus always uh, talked about. And it was the will of the father and the external um, powers that would be have definitely shown us that they can keep up with the universal aspect, but we can't be weary in well-doing if we're practicing the practice of spirituality. We have to stay focused in our world to continuously create our world rather than, you know, going over into their world and being confused about what their world is about and what ours is. You see, there is a separation between world and spirit. There is, because if you don't come out of the world's concept, then you're always gonna be there believing that you're sick, um, that you have a need for something, you don't have enough of something, that the possibilities of God working for you are not there. You know, these are some of the things when you straddle the fence that come up. So the world has its place of believing and believers in spirit have their place. And so if you have any questions, you know, anything that you want to add, you know, you can, I, oh, excuse me, um, email me at ifwbuilders at gmail.com. But my encouragement to anyone is that if you've been practiced spiritually, remember your foundation. Whenever confusion, controversy comes in and remember thy kingdom come, your kingdom is one with the kingdom of God. And that kingdom is within you so that you and God can become one to build, that thy will would be done and others would come together and unite for the common good of love and <clears throat> happiness. All right, so peace and blessings. Have a good one.